Owen Ford, Ireland in the blue corner. Jamie Stinton, Lincoln Fight Factory in the red. This is the ISKA Four Nations title over five two-minute rounds. Stinton, the taller of the two young men. Nice round kick. Off the rear leg from Stinton. Ford looking to push in, get beyond those long arms and back Stinton up. It's a good tactic from the shorter man. Stinton, for his part, will look to keep it at range. Nice, stiff knee from Stinton. Round kick in reply from Ford. Push kick Stinton. Fast paced start here for this Four Nations title. Round kick off the lead leg, Stinton. Ford being told by Mike, you can't clinch. Got a clinch strike release. Ford looks to chop at that lead leg. Stinton checks it, jumps in with the knee. Ducks under the hook. Both men just out of range at the moment. Jab from Stinton. Low kick doubled up from Ford. And Stinton says, come on, do it again. He's a character, isn't he? Throws the push kick. Looks for his own jab, steps away from the reply from Ford, looks for the right to the body, then the push kick again. Ford continues to chop at the legs when he gets the opportunity. Stinton just catches the leg, pushes him away. Little smile from Ford. And Stinton warns, you can't do that. Neither man much worried about it as they get straight back to action. And you can see Ford consistently looking to close the gap. Stinton making that difficult. It's a lively opening round, nice work as he came in. Jumped in with that right hand, Stinton. Push kick to keep that range, then the round kick. Doubled up to the midsection. Ford takes them to getting close. Stinton having none of it. Lively opening round. Steps away again and around Stinton. Nice lateral movement. Ford looks to close the gap and walk him down. Two quality young performers in the ring. Well, a good opening round, not much between them. Nice clash of style that's worked in favour of the bout. Both looking to work to their strengths and neither really managing to overwhelm the other in that opener. So it's a very good close opening round as we go into round two. So two of five, not much between these young men. Excellent Four Nations title bout. Low kick off that rear leg from Stinton. Ford looks to get in with the boxing. Stinton does a good job of not staying there and letting him build up a, a steam there. As you know, when, when they get into a rhythm and a groove, Stinton doesn't allow that. Doesn't let, let him get that rhythm going. When he realises he's under pressure with his back to the ropes, he responds. A nice right to the body as Ford comes in. Nice round kick again from Stinton. Doubles it up. Ford, you can see, looking to get here. This is where he wants to be. And this is what Stinton looks to stop. That's what I see about a nice clash of styles. They both know what they want. They both know what they're doing. And whoever asserts that style clearly will be the winner here. Time back on. Touch gloves. Ford, little grin as he looks to come forward. Little shimmy as he comes in. Stinton turns, looks for the push kick. And then the round kick on the end. Ford looks to close that gap. Look how quickly Stinton moves. Chess match, this one. 
Now Stinton in the middle of the ring looks to work that right to the body, then the left to the head. Pushes forward again, first time, the roles are reversed. Stinton reacting to the crowd and pushing forward now. Ford comes in again. Big round kick from Stinton, steps away from the response. Right to the body, centre ring for Stinton, not been there often. Happy to work on the counter normally. Steps in, chops at that lead leg of Ford. His kicks are the difference for me between these two men. They really move forward. And that is important in K1, the power of the kicking, the moving, the damage done. And Ford looks to get in with that left of the body, jamming left knee from Stinton. I think there's daylight between the two because of the kicks of Stinton in that second round. They're powerful, they're strong. Ford continues to look to hunt his man down and work the body when he gets in close. Round three of five, midway point. And immediately as they touch gloves, Ford comes forward, long knee from Stinton, using the jab. Look at the focus there. Wanting to keep this at range, pushes that jab out, then the right round kick. Left, right from Stinton coming forward, steps away from the reply from Ford. Ford looking to close that gap, lands with the left. Stinton responds, the push kick to keep the range. Spins just out of range with the kick, throws the jab. Busy third round, chops low at that lead leg and then throws the right hand over the top, Stinton. Steps back as Ford comes in. Jab from Stinton, push kick. Oh, catches Ford on the way in with the jab cross combination. Ford shakes it off, he's a tough customer. Then the right to the body from Stinton, jumps in with the right, looks for the left and right knee. Putting the pressure on now Stinton, looking for that right again to the body. Suddenly he's the one in the centre of the ring, forcing the issue. Steps back. Looks for that right to the body again and, and Ford saying that one's low, but it's not. Do you know what? It's a beautiful right hand to the body from Stinton. Pivotal in this third round. Beautifully timed, pushed into the body. Ford saying he's OK, he's a tough customer, but a superb shot from Jamie Stinton there. Ford looking to come back. But this is a big round now, round three from Stinton. Ford looking to throw those boxing combinations. He needs to come back. He's had the count in this round. Stinton looks for that right to the body again. Checks the kick, keeps it at range. Looking to keep it long. So big, big third round for Jamie Stinton here in this title bout. Owen Ford... He's got to get inside and rock his man with those shots. He had to take the knee, take the count in the third. Penultimate round four coming up. Stinton backs up and takes the left hand, but replies with the right knee. Steps forward, that right to the body again. Then the left leg steps away from the big right hand. And a little gamesmanship there, you've got to love him. He's enjoying it in there, and those rights to the body are causing Ford problems. Steps forward, beautiful timing, takes the standing leg of Ford. Excellent timing. He's in a groove now, Stinton. Ford stepping forward like the warrior he is. He knows he needs to keep his man under pressure, but that left round kick lands, then he looks for the big right hand to the body, Stinton. Looks for every opportunity as Ford comes in now. Then the high round kick backs forward up, looking towards the body. He's got a head of steam now, Stinton. Working well, fluid combinations. It's like he's figured out Ford's style, the way he likes to come in. He's catching him on the way in and on the way out, making it difficult for Ford to stay there and trade where he wants to be. And that jab is more proof. Ford wants to be here, he wants to be working. Stinton hasn't allowed it. 
and throws that right again to the body. But as you can see, Ford ducks to that right-hand side, his left-hand side. So that right to the body can double up to the head if Ford ducks too low. It's clever thinking from Stinton. And there's the round kick. He's kept himself out of trouble. He's kept the range. He's kept the movement. He's frustrated Ford, who you can see is aggressive and hard-hitting. But he hasn't been allowed to work to his strengths from about the middle of round two onwards. Big jab there, though, from Ford. Still dangerous. Stinton's got to stay focused. Works his right to the body, brings it up to the head. Four rounds down, and I've got Stinton in control of this. Ford needs a big, big fifth round. He needs a count, if possible, to get himself back in contention here. He's done nothing wrong. It's just that Stinton has figured out his style and worked around it. It's been an excellent bout, competitive. And Ford walks forward again. You know where he wants to be, but that jab rocks his head back. Ford looking to get in close. The right knee from Stinton. Looks for the right to the body again. Doubles it up. The crowd at fever pitch here. Round kick from Stinton. Pushes Ford away as he goes to kick. Michael wiped the gloves down. And he'll say to Stinton, no, you can't do that. Stinton acknowledges it. Ford, a smile on his face. It's been a competitive but sporting bout. Jab cross and then the short knee from Stinton comes forward, looks for that right to the body once more. Jab cross again from Stinton. Throws the right hand as he comes forward. Moves around his man. A little shimmy, doesn't throw it. Ford caught by the jab on the way in. Not as quick to come in now, a little left knee from Stinton. He's weathered the storm and kept Ford at the range he wants and throws that jab again. Little left hand there from Ford, he's still dangerous, he's a real live wire. But he's been outmaneuvered by Jamie Stinton here across this bout as the clock ticks out on this round and this bout as a whole. It's been a really good, nullifying performance from Jamie Stinton. Keeping this at the range, he wants it. And in the style that he wants it. And the crowd acknowledging that as the jab lands once more, then that chopping low kick from Stinton. Not taking any risks, throws the high round kick. He knows he's got the rounds in the bag. Sean will have told him that. So no risks here in the fifth, no big grandstand finish. Doesn't need it little short right knee again and there you have it and they hug it's been a great sporting contest but you can see from the body language of both men this is a great bout but for me it's Stinton all the way for this title yeah Stinton takes it when he needed to step up the plate, his most mature performance yet.